It is all happening here in Las Vegas, and it looks like our camera crew enjoyed their visit to the uh, Wax Museum here early this week. I'm sure that wasn't President Obama there. But Lion Fight 10 has been amazing so far, and we've still got three fights to go, including coming up next for the first time ever at 126, the title on the line, Tiffany Van Sust and Lucy Payne. Let's go up to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. And please welcome, as she makes her way to the ring, Lucy Payne. Lucy Payne from Penzance, Cornwall, England, says she doesn't care about the royal baby. She cares about putting a royal beating on Tiffany Van Sust here tonight. She arrived in Las Vegas on Monday, her first time fighting in America, her first visit to the USA. Says that if she stays headstrong, fights with all of her heart, she will win. She says she cannot doubt herself because Tiffany Van Sost is the sort of fighter who once she senses weakness, once she senses hesitation and a lack of heart, she'll pounce on you and finish you. Very good in the clinch and handles herself well in boxing, the very experienced Lucy Payne. And now, ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome our next fighter, Tiffany Van Seuss. Listen to that ovation, as always. Arguably the most marketable woman in Muay Thai at the moment, Tiffany Van Seuss. A second degree black belt in USKO Karate. The WBC Super Band and White Champion. Her heroes in martial arts. Well, they're two of mine as well. Bruce Lee goes for most of us, but the other one I love, Mas Oyama. Founder of Kyokushin Karate, of course. <laughs> Tiffany, who's also training in mixed martial arts, does a lot of wrestling training. She says the wrestling helps with her Muay Thai clinch work. Now, she says tonight she'll dig back into her karate roots, especially with her kicks. Look out for her tonight to throw spinning back kicks. Ushiro Geri to the midsection of Lucy Payne. And also, she says she's going to try and knock her out with a May Getty front kick to the jaw. She comes off the back of an eight-week training camp. She's certainly flexible enough to kick her in the face, even though she's eight inches taller. And uh, those spinning back kicks that she's talking about will tear your liver out of your rib cage. Sparring partner to UFC women's bantamweight Liz Carmouche and Invictus strawweight Kayana Rain. And let's take a look at the tail of the tape for this championship fight. The experience goes the way of the Pommy Lucy Payne, 19 and 6, 7, 0 and 1. Payne is three years the younger. Look at the height differential. Six foot even versus five foot four. Reach all round goes the way of Lucy Payne. Our experts fight cage. Kicks go the way of Tiffany Van Sost. Punches Van Sost. Knees go the way of Payne. Elbows are even and power is even. On paper, it should be a fantastic contest. In centering at the moment, Tiffany Van Sost is sealing the ring, going from corner to corner, as is a pre-fight ritual of Muay Thai. And let's go up to Jake Gutierrez. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we bring you a very special attraction by three-minute rounds for the Lion Fight Women's World Featherweight title. Our three judges will be John Baker, Robert Hoyle, and Patricia Morris Jarman. Our referee in charge, once again, Tony Weeks. Fighting out of the blue corner, she wears the black, silver, and blue trunks, and she weighed in at 125 pounds. Her record stands at 19 victories, six defeats, and she comes to us from Penzance, Cornwall, in the United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lucy Payne. And her opponent fighting out of the red corner. She's wearing a yellow and black, and she weighed in at 125 pounds. Her professional record, seven victories, no losses, including one draw, with one win by knockout. From San Diego, California, ladies and gentlemen, here is Tiffany Time Bomb Van Okay, you both received your instructions in the dressing room. I want a good, clean fight. 
Obey my commands at all times above all protect yourselves at all times. Let's go. Tony H gives the final instructions. The closing odds for this one, Tiffany Van Susten minus 535. The comeback on Lucy Payne at plus 355. The USA versus the United Kingdom. For the first time ever, the World Championship on the line. And here we go. Michael Chevello, Pat Militich with you. Can Payne get on the inside, use her reach, throw the knees up to the head of Tiffany Van Sust. Look out for Van Sust turning back kicks. And also she's going to try for a May Getty front kick to the jaw. Gets airborne early. That was a flying fake knee left hook. Not seen that before. Lucy Payne cannot afford to show too much respect here to Van Sust. Cannot allow Van Sust to find her rhythm, to get too active and to back her up against the ropes. The thing with Van Sust, she's good with the feints. So you don't really know when she's coming for sure. So that assists her when it comes time to cover the gap. Van Sust defeated a British opponent last time out. In my opinion, she may have been trailing in that fight before she scored the knockout against the taller opponent again. Somehow, Van Sust always finds a way, though. Lucy Payne's got to keep that jab in the face, got to keep those front kicks out there until it's time to find range with the knees, get on the inside, tie her up, put her in that web of a grapple that she does have. You may have seen Lucy fight before over in the UK. She's a constant feature. She's fought in Slovenia. It's her first time fighting here in the US, and it's a whole different ball game. Jumping right hand from Payne, jumping round kick from Van Sust, and Payne picks her off. Yeah, good timing on that lead leg front kick. Right hand from Lucy Payne. 71 and a half inch reach on Lucy Payne, one of the longest reaches of any female fighter in the world. Only 65 on Van Sust. Payne's timing is thrown off right now by Van Seuss' movement. She's having trouble figuring out dialing in. Oh, she clips her on the jawline! And Payne shows she can take a shot. That was a solid right hand from Tiffany. That stung her, though. Belly button through the back from Van Seuss. Turns off counterclockwise. Back to center in here. Featherweight Championship on the line. For the first time ever. Nice fake. She stepped through like she was going to sweep her and dump her, and then through the right and blasted her. Symphony Van Sust has done it again. Well, Lucy Payne, who writes on her bio that one of her hobbies is clubbing, just got clubbed out of this fight. Watch how she steps through here. Look at her stepping around and then throws the right hand. Nice diversion tactic. She's very good at throwing feints and fakes, and she did it there and it assisted her in putting this girl away. And I think what happened, Pat, is what Lucy didn't want to happen. When she felt the salvos of Tiffany a few moments earlier, she showed that she was hurt, and Tiffany pounced on her. Right, right. Tiffany Van Sust just giving a kiss there to Lucy Payne in the ring while you watch these replays of the violent demolition job here from Van Sust. Combination work, pounds away. Payne in all sorts of trouble. Van Sust is the champion. Still undefeated, age 0 and 1. An absolute firecracker. Let's go up to Jake Gutierrez to make it all official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Tony Week steps in and stops this bout at 2 minutes 30 seconds of the first round. The winner by TKO victory and now she is the Lion Fight Women's Featherweight Champion of the World, Tiffany Time Bomb Van Seuss. Rousing and ovation for the champion. $500 bonus provided by Harley It looks like Pat Melotic is going to grab the champ as the strap is in the hands of Scott Kent, placing around the waist now of Tiffany.
well deserved. An emotional moment here for Tiffany. All right, up here with Tiffany. Tiffany, we talked earlier about tall fighters. You said they're a speed bump. It proved true again tonight. Yeah, really good. Uh, tell us about how you set up that finish. You looked like you stepped around, you were gonna dump her, fake the elbow, or it wasn't there, and then you threw the right hand and got things rolling with that. Yeah, I was just looking for my openings. You know, she was throwing me singles, and uh, I just kind of let her throw a couple at me to see where she was open, and I read it from there, and then um, and picked my shots, and they proved to be the right ones to pick, and I finished. Right. Now, you've obviously been up undefeated up until tonight, but you fought a girl with 25 professional fights. I think you definitely proved that you belong here and that you deserve the title. I definitely do. I was born to do this. This is my life. I love it. <laughs> All right, your champion, Tiffany Van Soost. Tiffany Van Soost points to the project on her arms. Referee points to the strap around her waist and she wears it well.